Hi, my name is Jack Langelan. I've got two jobs for the team. The first is as team leader, which means that I have to make sure everything runs smoothly. And my second job is uh, to manage the flight planning software and the real-time flight optimization software for the airplane. Uh, the second part of my job I'm also doing with the help of some of my graduate students at Penn State, and uh, they've been enormously helpful. And the second group that's been helping us out an enormous amount is the meteorology department at Penn State. They've been providing us with uh, forecasts of weather at high resolution, and then we can use those high resolution weather forecasts to plan optimal paths over the Green Flight Challenge course. And uh, we'll see how much that ends up saving us in terms of total energy consumption. It looks like we'll be able to save quite a bit. Uh, the amount that we save is going to end up depending on how hard the wind is blowing while we're flying the course. So the flight optimization has a few parts to it. The first part is data collection. I'm pulling data from a GPS receiver, from the aircraft's air data sensors, and from outside air temperature sensors. And using the combination of GPS, air data, and the temperature, I can compute how hard the wind is blowing at the location of the airplane up in the sky. So once I know how hard the wind is blowing, then I use aircraft performance data to compute what flight condition the aircraft should be in to maximize flight efficiency. And by flight condition, I mean the power setting on the engine and the airspeed of the aircraft. So we carefully tune uh, the flight speed and the power to maximize the uh, distance traveled for a given energy expenditure. How challenging has this project been to, uh, to get together from the, uh, the computer side of it? Well, the math behind it all and programming the computer is actually not that difficult. The hard part is actually getting the data in a reliable format from all the other equipment on board the airplane. And so we found out the kinds of things that you find out doing this sort of thing is that there is no such thing as too much error checking. I've just got to, I've just got to go down here. We've got a cockatoo on the loose. An organic UAV, I'm told, in the background. <laughs> That's something you don't see in every hangar. That's for sure. Where can this technology be used in the future? Well, we hope to, we can certainly apply it, and we're working on that, apply it to unmanned aerial vehicles, um, because, especially smaller aircraft, because they're very limited in the fuel that they can carry on board. And so any improvement that we can gain in flight efficiency will help with completing the missions of these unmanned aircraft, whether they're scientific missions, disaster relief, or what have you. On the aviation side of things, the, the big iron manufacturers, Boeing, they've been working on doing flight trajectory optimization uh, for their aircraft as well, and we're going to try and bring this down more to the general aviation uh, size of aircraft. And uh, I mean, we're really excited about the technology. Well, Jack, thank you for your time, and we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow and get some more information about uh, the technology you're using. Great. Good to talk to you, Michael. Thank you.